Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to The Retro Show. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and this week we are taking on uh, Grand Prix World on the PC. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what this game is like and uh, experiencing it. I've heard really good things. Obviously, the brand new uh, F1 Manager 2022 was announced this week, so I thought it would be a great time to go back in time and uh, manage an F1 team and uh, I did a bit of research and this seemed to be the one that everybody raved about that, that everybody thought was uh, a really good game so let's get into it and see how we get on then uh, so welcome to the world of Grand Prix World uh, the definitive simulation of Formula 1 team management uh, if you want to know a bit more about Formula 1 racing before you start go over to the left hand side and click on the button that looks like this and it's got a big F1 on it if you want to know what the other buttons are for move your pointer over them and look at the menu information window in the top left corner of your screen when you're ready choose a button and get started okay so there you go uh, it is fully licensed as well this game so yeah really looking forward to it there are apparently mods that take you all the way up to 2021 so um you know if i enjoy this maybe we'll turn it into a full series we'll explore some of the mods and hopefully keep this game alive uh, you know and bring it bring it back to life perhaps uh, but let's have a little read of what the the describe F1 has, so it's watched by millions of TV viewers around the world. Grand Prix Formula 1 racing is the pinnacle of motorsport. The Formula 1 season is an annual event, usually taking place from March to November. Uh, the 1998 season spanned 16 races held on different circuits around the world. During each season, there are two championship titles to be won, so okay, fair enough, you've got all of that. Uh, it tells you a bit about the point system. Okay, cool. You can read about the teams, you can read about the design, construction, testing, engines, tyres, setup, qualifying, race, um, the FIA, the, uh, the Ferrari International Assistance. Uh, um, cool, okay. Uh, then you've got new game, continue game, you've got saved games, hall of credits, all of that. Okay. Right, um, yeah, let's uh, get into this and see how we get on then. So we can choose from one of the 11 teams in the sport back in 1998. Of course, Williams were uh, the Constructors champion, uh, Champions back then. Um, they, they obviously won the um, Formula One World Championship with Jacques Villeneuve. Um, and their team principal was Frank Williams, who uh, died recently which was uh, very, very sad. Luca de Montezemolo there as well. Uh, another person that's dead. I, I believe Luca de Montezemolo is uh, dead. I might, I might be wrong by that. I might have just killed him off. Um, I'm fairly sure he is. Obviously, Ferrari, a very good team back then. Then you've got Benetton. Uh, who You've got Giancarlo Fisichella and Alex Wirtz, which is good. And then you've got McLaren there led by Ron Dennis. You've got Jordan, obviously, ran by Eddie Jordan. You've then got uh, Prost, ran by Alan Prost. You've got Peter Sauber's team. You've got um, Arrows, of course. You've got Jackie Stewart's team. Uh, Tyrrell are in there. And, of course, Minardi, who were the Minnows back in the day. So uh, you can see the, the little budgets there, um, of course. You go for Williams or Ferrari, they're, they're going to have a bigger budget. Um, 50 million for Jordan, 55 for Prost, 45 for Sauber, um, 40 million for Arrows, 30 million for Stewart, 25 for Minardi and Tyrrell. I'm, I'm quite tempted to go middle of the road here and go Sauber. And uh, we've got Jean Alessi and uh, Johnny Herbert as the. Um, the, the drivers the goal is to finish in the the top five uh williams of course is going to be uh, there's, there's a little bit of, of blurb there so what is sauber after a strong debut sauber's history 
has been one of uh, unfulfilled potential with the team continually finishing in the middle of the pack. This trend continued in 98, but with Ferrari engines and two experienced drivers, the team should have done better. Your goal is to finish in the top five. Okay, right, let's give it a go then. So uh, we are in, I believe, you can play up to 40 seasons of this game. Which is crazy, isn't it? Um, so we've got a technical d director, Leo Ress. Uh, we've got a chief designer, Os Osamu. We've got to a chief mechanic of Ernst Keller and a uh, commercial manager, F uh, Fritz Kaiser. Okay, um, so you can have a look at the news there. We've got a new boss, Concord Cash. Okay, cool. So we've got an inbox, um, got some F. Oh, so we're getting 11 million in funds from the FIA. There's some finances. Uh, those are the contracts. So we've, of course, got Lacey and Herbert. Would be nice to, to see what the uh, the shops are like. What's that? That just looks like a overall, yeah, engineering of the cars. So we, we can um, decide where they're going I'm, I'm assuming um, okay so we can change the car okay cool no, I, I assume that takes us forward if we go into maintenance a spares available three can't seem to, to click on any of that just yet um, sponsors car coverage Okay, sort of using the... Ah, I didn't look at the bottom of, on this, did I? Okay, there you go. So it looks like we can perhaps move people about. Or, or maybe not. Ah, build 1998 car. So we've got 100% of engineers. Should we put ten percent on the on that? Seems to make sense. Maybe <laughs> completion twenty one. Or do we do we just try and get the the car built? Is that what we do? You've built another racing car for use this year. Okay, okay. Um, maybe we didn't want it. <laughs> uh, so we are with a Ferrari. And we've got Goodyear tyres and we've got Shell fuel. Okay, that's fine. Uh, probably want the wind tunnel in there. Got a supercomputer, I don't know what a cam is, but hey, it sounds good. What's that? Oof. I mean, this is just so detailed. Might have to, to watch uh, some videos on this and try and learn it a bit. Um, if we want to go ahead and make a series. Team orders, so he's driver one, driver two, test driver, passing margin, five seconds. Okay. Fine. So should we tell him to be a bit more aggressive? Yeah, back markers a little bit less aggressive and have Johnny Herbert just in the middle. Okay, got some options here as well. Ah, so we can turn the audio down, which is a, a very good one. Oh, um, maybe not. Might turn the music off, though. The, the music's a bit creepy. <laughs> 2D graphics, 3D graphics. Race speed, 79%. I mean, I'm happy to, to go ahead and, and see. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't want to restart either. Okay, right, let's uh, push forward then. And we'll see what happens. Australia, right. So race preparations. 
drive all this. I, I mean, I'm assuming this is okay. Driving aid legality, that's fine. Um, view competitors. Ah, okay. Okay. Why not? Let's see what we've got then. And see how they get on. So we can put that engine in. Um, we can put soft tyres on or hard tyres. Let's try soft tyres. Let's try and be a bit quicker. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? So this is for John Um How much fuel? So qualifying 12 laps. Let's give him 5 laps of fuel. Let's see what he can... Or, or 3 laps. I mean, it seemed to suggest 3 laps. So let's do it. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh! Got number nine out on track. I'll just turn the uh, the volume down for you guys a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't even know where to look particularly. I suppose does this change the cameras? Okay, cool. We've got number nine out there. Um, so I think that's a, a Jordan GP car. And of course, qualifying back in the day, you sort of had your own time, didn't you? If you activate, you will not be able to jump back in. Mm. Well, what I want to do is see what is going on. That's what I want to do. So there they go. They're coming out again. It's... Obviously, it's going to have to go on to a time lap. We have got somebody else coming out of pits. Can we tell him to go? Yeah, there you go. So we can go out there, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, right. Let's send him out as well. So number 14 and number 15 are who we're looking out for here. They're out on their formation lap. Or out lap, I should say. Um, hopefully he's not going to get too tangled behind the Jordan and the Minardi. Although I think it's actually a Tyrrell. A Tyrrell car. So a TV feed up there and the bottom one I think is going to be we're looking at John Lacey hopefully so yeah, there, there, there are those guys Lacey so Damon Hill sets the fastest lap of a 134.3 now what can we muster up here Let's see what we can pull off. So Damon Hill still going round. Unfortunately, I think um, I think Alacy's been caught up. So Herbert's got clear air. Should be able to pull it off. Very dry. Okay, so he's managed to get past the, the Tyrrell now. I'd love to see some sector times. What's that up there? Okay. 
Like there's the map. Okay, so you can sort of cycle through them. That's all right then. So he's gone into the pits. Here comes Alacy for his first lap. What's it going to be? It was second, only three tenths slower. But he did get held up, so. What about uh, Herbert? Mm, he goes P3. Okay. So we need to bring these two back in. Tell them to come in now. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's see what we can do now. So, oh, we don't want to do that. We'll go back. Okay. And hopefully, they don't run out of fuel. <laughs> have a, a few of the map I think see if it runs a little bit better but I'll tell you what the game doesn't look too bad for 23 years old Oh, that's nice. What's that? 107% time. Cool. I didn't realise that was a thing back then. So they're coming in. Okay. So Herbert's now in as well. So I'm hoping that we might be able to... to fast forward now. There we go, right. Let's uh, fast forward. And see how they get on. Can we just end the session? Yeah. We can. Right, let's see where we end up then. So the qualifying session ended. Alacy ended up 11th. Where's Herbert? 15th. I don't think that's too bad as a as starting out. Um, so let's see how we get on in the race. So that's a lacy. Okay, cool. Are we starting off? Oh yeah, it looks like rain. Okay, cool. <laughs> Look at the rain. And we're ready for the lights. Lights out. There you go. And they all are on there. They're away. They're coming towards the first corner. It looks like a McLaren in the lead there. And looks line astern at the moment. Johnny Herbert, where is he up to? Like a 58 laps in this Grand Prix. Let's tell them to push hard at the start of this Grand Prix. And we don't have any sort of idea there. Do we have any? That's just lap times. I suppose at the end of the first lap will we get a, a message? Okay. Need wet tyres. Okay. Seems like that was Herbert. Let's pull them in then. Let's 
good amount of wet tyres. We'll keep Alessi out there. Lost a couple of positions there. Okay, so he's out there now. So keep him pushing. I'm hoping that will be alright on those tyres. Right, so can we... That up? Yeah, we want to move that up to 150, I think. And high quality that, 1998 sponsor, that's okay. Cool. So that should hopefully speed them up a little bit. Do I have to confirm that or anything? Do I just save it? Yeah. I'm guessing that's what we do. But it's not going at 150%. How's Johnny getting on? He seems to be catching up. Okay. Right, so we got the TV feed. Let's keep going. This is awesome, by the way. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I just... I think maybe we have to... What do we want to do? Sauber, so we want Sauber. Oh, so the Sauber pit stops. And Sauber retirements. That sounds good. Here we go. Oh no. Well, Alessi finished fourth by the looks of it. Um, what has happened to. Johnny so Johnny was four laps down at the end goodness me but we get three points look at that cool right so Brazil is the next Grand Prix okay um, so we can come out of that and uh, look at the rest of it but that is 20 minutes of a look of Grand Prix World. Now, it, it honestly took me hours to get this working. I really want to delve more into it. Now, I think I'll probably do more videos on this in the future. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I know I was quite quiet be because there was a lot going on in my ears. And I just wanted to experience the game. So, it looks really cool. Let me know down in the comment section below. Did you play the game? Did you experience it? And... and is there anything I should know about the game and would you be interested in seeing more and learning more about it and trying to get good at it I think that would be really cool I mean our first race seemed a success but uh, I don't know how much I had to do with that but uh, there you go if you've enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more retro gaming and Formula 1 content and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye